Today we are surrounded by the concept of alternatives. What are the alternatives? We talk about alternative justice system, alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, alternative polities, alternative economy. The world today, as we know it, is full of alternatives. However, the definition is another problem altogether. Indeed, our topic today is about the alternative forms of dispute resolution, especially the traditional dispute resolution mechanisms. The Constitution of the Republic of Kenya in 2010 made a very substantive attempt to revive what would have been left in the museum of the memories of those who loved it, that is, the roots and the institutions of the African customary law. In uh, the Constitution under uh, Article 48, which rules on the access to justice, states as follows, quote, the state shall ensure access to justice to all persons and in any case if a fee shall be required it shall be reasonable and it shall not impede access to justice close the quote the same could be read jointly with article 159 where the alternative forms of dispute resolution appears. Alternative dispute resolution as a requirement within the constitution of the judicial authority to promote it and enhance its functions within the Kenyan jurisdiction. The Kenyan domestic laws are not known to be very sensitive to the traditional African legal system and not very sensitive about matters related to the African customary law. This is again revealed to us by the way the African customary law has been mentioned in a negative form. The clause number three under uh, article 159 is treating such traditional dispute resolution mechanisms with colonial connotations repugnancy but it begins by putting it as follows that such mechanisms should not contravene the bill of rights that is all right should not be inconsistent with the constitution or any written law in Kenya, that is also very correct, but should not be considered repugnant or against morality. These are all wordings of the constitution that come from the Judicature Act, uh, chapter 8 and section 3, and also it has got colonial connotation because it was in the federal state of Nigeria and in South Africa that the British colonial regime emphatically had designed that clause around the principle of repugnancy which is still questionable by many African jurists. And again, against morality. Which morality? Against natural justice, perhaps, but how and where? We all know from history that the colonial imperialism was not very kind or sympathetic about the native laws. And in this case, particularly the African customary law. Perhaps that might have been the problem back in Europe, home problem, or maybe it was problem in Great Britain, 
But all the same, it is something that we could as well arguably claim to be irrelevant, especially in the post-colonial and post-independent states such as the Republic of Kenya. Making references to those colonial concepts as repugnancy may not be quite helpful when we address ourselves to the alternative justice system and ADR, alternative dispute resolution. However, still we need to admit the truth of the statistics. We know very well that only 35% of matters and disputes that people have end up in the state court for adjudication. And only a fraction of that end up successfully for its logical conclusion after the proceedings and procedures of the court. The question is, the 65%, where do they go to? How are people managing and handling their disputes and matters in the Republic of Kenya today? Most of these matters get settled. This one, we must be sure. Some of them perhaps are tolerated and they're there. However, I want to argue that most of such matters find some sort of settlements. Those are the alternative forms, maybe through reconciliation, through arbitration, through mediation, but majorly through the traditional dispute resolution mechanisms. But we need to define to ourselves what are the traditional dispute resolution mechanisms in Kenya. Which one are they? Are they validly instituted? Are they legally recognized? Are they acknowledged within the Constitution? These are all some of the questions that may bother and bubble the mind of whoever is interested in advancing legal scholarship in the Republic of Kenya today. The future lawyers or the lawyers who are practicing today, the judicial authority, academic lawyers and law scholars, law professors. It is a question of a lot of research and research based on the field uh, data collection. There must be dialogue, there must be conversation with the communities that still uphold such traditional dispute resolution mechanisms. And it is through this that the constitution must as well acknowledge the institutions of the African customary law and ensure that there is some traditional leadership within the state uh, functions so that such dialogue would be made possible. Thank you for watching. Peter here, University of Nairobi School of Law, Kisumu Campus. I invite you, as usual, to join this uh, intellectual conversation on these platforms so that we put our minds together. This is as well very constructive and very much recommended. Bye for today and thank you for watching.